top of the morning to you. Welcome to another episode of Drunken Crafting Masters. International. My name is Shannon Lester. And I'm Dustin. Join us on a drunken crafting adventure around the world. Where we travel to different countries and experience their culture through craft and alcohol. This week we go to Ireland. Where we're going to teach you how to make two cocktails. One is the Irish Flake Shot and then we're going to teach you how to just make some good old green beer. Well, they're not actually cocktails, but yeah. drinks. Two drinks. drinks. <laughs> and we're also going to teach you how to make a leprechaun finger puppet. Ooh. Okay. Slancha. Right. Slancha. All right. Let's get to our first drink, which is just going to be a shot, which is the Irish flag shot. Just a shot. Just a shot. But it's going to be good. So, <laughs> so the first good. thing we need is creme de menthe. <laughs> and then we need some Baileys. <laughs> Finally, we have some Grand Marnier orange flavored. All right. So for this one, you're gonna have two shots. And we're going to start by making the Irish flag, which is green. So we're going to need one third of the creme de menthe. So Ella, is this a difficult drink to make? It is quite difficult, only because we're layering the colors together and we don't want them to mix up. And then we're going to need some Baileys and you're going to need a spoon to do this. And you're going to want to pour this really slightly on an upside down spoon over the drink. And I found the easiest way to do this is if you actually take the spoon and put it right beside the glass so it hits the edge. Okay. And then go really slowly. Really slowly. Slowly. Slow, slow. Oh, yeah, it's starting to flow. Yeah. It's very delicate. Look at that. You're going to want to do this shot pretty much right after you make it because the Baileys will start to quake late and you don't want that. Uh, class! <laughs> you are, Ella. That's right, and then the Grand Marini on top with the same technique. As you can see, it's the flag where it's green, well, semi white, and orange. Hers is a little bit better than mine. That's beautiful. But, um, slancha! Slancha! I am really not good with shots, but that doesn't taste that bad. I like it. It, it tastes like um, chocolate chip mint ice cream. With a hint of alcohol, but I agree. It's actually um, it's pretty tasty. It's refreshing. That that little shot of mint at the end is um, I think that's what got me a bit. I like. I'm a fan of mint, so I actually because I didn't think that orange liqueur and what is the other one? It has Baileys, Baileys. and Baileys and mint. Yeah. It seems really weird, but. It turned out pretty good. That's good. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Thumbs up. Get on to our second drink, which is just going to be the good old green beer. Which, when I think of Ireland, I think of the green beer. Me too. Okay, yeah, it's good. So for this one, we're going to need chilled glasses, and then we're going to need some food coloring, and we'll need some beer. We want to choose a light beer so that we can really see the green show up with the alcohol. And since we're using a light beer, we're going to want to put about, uh, we'll say, six to seven drops of food coloring. And you want to use the liquid kind, not the gel kind. Because the gel, apparently, will smush up and look really chunky inside the drink. Really? Yeah. I've never heard of gel food coloring before. Not ever have I. <laughs> <laughs> but the internet told me, so it must be true. It must be true. Alright, so once again, six or seven drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I put eight in mine. I think the more the merrier, really. Hey! And then we're going to want to pour our beers into our drinks. And if you want, you can pour yours with me. I'm going to pour my own. So in case you don't know how to pour a drink, tilt your glass, pour the beer. Oh, I got a little over here. Look at that green goodness. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Now, this is a green beer. It looks like, like 
melon soda or something. Yeah, it looks fantastic. All right, well, um, now you need to know the food coloring is not going to change the taste of the beer, so pick a beer that you like and really enjoy. Yeah. Slancha. Slancha. I already know that I like 1516, so it's tasting pretty good to me. I feel like the head tasted funny, though. It's good, because all I had was a shot of my head on that time. <laughs> Welcome back to Drunken Crafting Masters International, Ireland edition. Yeah. Hey, Shirley Temple. Hey, all those Irish drinks just made me feel so Irish. Or like carrot top. Irish, red hair. Is carrot top Irish? No, just a ginger. Where is carrot top from? <laughs> no. okay. Anyways, what are we doing today, Sasha? So. Since we're in Ireland, I mm -hmm. thought, you know, we're not going to be that creative. <laughs> we're just going to choose something that's very stereotypical and go with it. Yeah. So, what are we doing? We're making leprechaun finger puppets! Yay! Who's excited? I'm excited. So, we're making leprechaun finger puppets. And what are we making them out of, Ella? Do you know? I, well, judging by the amount of felt on the table, I'm going to say we're going to make it from some felt. Felt. So, yeah. what you need to make your leprechaun finger puppet uh, project today is a shitload of felt. So, we recommend um, a flesh tone. And in Ireland, you know, there's a lot of white, pink colored people. So, yeah, yeah. But feel free to make your leprechaun any color you like. But, like, um, me. Ella chose... Ah. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, being culturally sensitive. Any color felt can be you. Any color felt you like for the skin tone. And then, usually leprechauns are redheads, so we need an orange. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Green for the um, clothing. Yeah. Uh, black for the belt and the hat. And then some yellow for the belt buckle. And we're good to go. So we need some felt, different colored felt. Yeah. Um, we'll also need a needle and thread today. And we're doing two kinds of sewing. It's very simple. Um, just a regular needle and thread, and then an embroidery needle and some embroidery thread. We're just using... Um, a needle and thread. And yarn and thread. We're using yarn instead of embroidery thread, so that works fine. Mm -hmm. And we also need a glue gun and glue sticks. There's a pair of scissors on the table. I'm assuming we may need this. And a pair of scissors. And I'm going to get some glue guns. Back! Cilantro! Cilantro! Okay, so the first thing we need to do to make this project just a little bit easier is to make a pattern. Because whenever you're working with fabrics, it's, it's nice to have a pattern just so you don't waste your fabric. So I made a little finger size leprechaun um, pattern. And as you can see, I cut his head off because the base of the pattern is gonna be in your flesh tone, you know, whatever color that may be. So, pattern. So the first <laughs> thing I'm gonna get you to do, Dustin, is um, cut, trace out and cut out your um, the base of your leprechaun. And we want to have two two sides. I, I might be able to show you. I already cut my mine out. And you can see mine is um, oh look. Oh. That's anatomically correct. How all dolls should be. How all dolls should be. So I have mine pre-cut. We're gonna get oh Ella's gonna use the brown. Because I'm brown. Okay. Oh, I need a drink. And um, a little trick that I noticed that Sash did earlier is that to make your two copies, if you actually layer them, and yeah, them together, I did, it's, it's smart. Up, it's up to guy. you for the back of your finger puppet. You could nobody's going to see the back of your finger puppet, really. So, but you, it's you could use whatever color you want for the back. I wanted to use this lovely indigo. I chose the same one. But anyways, um, yeah. If you layer your fabric together and cut them out at the same time, it makes it easier. Oh, brilliant! Two 
the, let's do a close next. So, to do the close, you could also use your um, pattern. Just trace around the general vicinity of where the close will be. And if you're really finicky, you, you might want to cut out a, a separate pattern for the close, but obviously this is just a little finger cut that I don't think you have to go that far. I don't think you have to go that <laughs> far with it. So you could just trace out the general shape and then fill in the rest yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, leave a little room for for error. It's you know, it's creativity. Right, there's, it's a craft. There's no need to be perfect, especially when it comes to little felt finger pads. So you gave him that, right? The V-neck. Yeah, I gave him a V-neck. Well, I gave him a V-neck because we need to leave room for his beard to get glued on. So it doesn't really matter what kind of neck you do, actually. No. Well, mine's a homosexual, so he's gonna have a really deep V-neck. Ooh. And so, yeah, just cut a little bit off to let the new, new hands stick out. My next. Cute. Huh. We want to cut out the hat. So again, I I made a pattern for the hat. It's pretty simple. It has to fit on the head. <laughs> Figure it out. Oh, it's rounded. If you want it to look weird like that, you can. Who makes a frame like this it's and then I, tell me that it needs to look like this? It's because I cut it off the head. Who does that? Gives me this as a pattern and tells me it needs to look like this. Cilantro! Cilantro! <laughs> the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a belt for... A little belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Just we get some darker fabric to create the belt. Yeah. So belt for the waist, belt for the hat, and then we're gonna do a little yellow belt buckle to go on the, on the hat and then on the waist. Yeah. So we're gonna do belt, belt buckle, pull, repeat, belt, belt buckle. Oh. Okay, so the final step, well not the final step, but the last thing we have to cut out is the beard. So, I've noticed in a lot of um, depictions of the leprechaun that they they don't have a mustache, they just have like a beard. The beard. Yeah, the beard. so just do the beard is my recommendation. I gave him a little goatee. In, in gay vernacular, do you know what we call a goatee? Or no, do you know what we call this here? A soul patch? Straight language. Oh, See? what's the gay call? In gay yeah. vernacular, this little part here is called the cum <gasps> Makes sense. No one wants cum jumbling down the straight, straight chin. And that's what this is for. That's why I have a quick healthy little... But he also has a reservoir right there, because apparently he likes gushers. Well, normally it's just like... <laughs> Everywhere. Okay, so once you have all your individual pieces cut out, the body, the head, the belt buckles, what we're going to do is we're going to take the body, mm -hmm. And we want to put on the eyes before we do anything else, because this is the only embroidery that we're going to do. I'm doing little X's because apparently leprechauns are always drunk. And an interesting fact mm -hmm. about the leprechaun is that they're always drunk, but they're never drunk enough that they'll drop their hammer. And do you know why leprechauns carry a hammer? No, why do they carry a hammer? Because leprechauns are actually shoemakers. Oh. So we actually have a lot in common with leprechauns. Yeah, yeah. We like to drink and we like to make. Uh-huh. Oh, leprechauns. If, you've, if you saw last week's episode, which will probably up, be up in the side here, please watch it. When we'll have a link right here. Yeah, when we were in Mexico, we, we dropped our hammers. Yeah, we got a little bit too drunk and we couldn't hold them up. Yeah, we dropped our hammers, so we apologize for That's that. That's good. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I, just, I just embroidered on the little eyes. See that? He's leaving me in the dust. He made me thread my own needle, and now he's way ahead of me. Just embroidered on my little eyes. That's the only embroidery I'm going to do, but if you want to embellish a little bit more, feel free. It's yeah, your choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah, we're, yeah. we're open to that. We're open to you taking our creativity and fucking with it. I'm one of those teachers who's very hands-off, you know, the students are in there learning. I'm outside having a smoke break. <laughs> you get an A, you get an A. <laughs> okay. So the next step is 
We're gonna get our glue guns and we're gonna start gluing the shit out of these guys. So we're gonna glue on Gluing the shit. Gluing the shit. We're gonna glue on our clothes. We start with the clothes. Take some glue. And just everywhere? Just put glue up. Gotta cover up his filth. <laughs> <laughs> so, once you have all your front bits glued together, what, what do we do now? The last step, it's really simple, is you have a drink. Oh, you have a drink. We're going to sew our back all around the edges and leave, obviously we're going to leave the bottom part open so you can stick your finger in. And, you know, <gasps> Top of the morning to you, Ella. How are you today? I am doing really good. <laughs> but I have a question for you. Were you sitting out in the sun too long, my son? No, you racist pig. <laughs> I am Aboriginal. What? I've never heard of such a thing in Ireland. What does Aboriginal mean? I don't know what it means in Ireland. Well, <laughs> you know what? We're all leprechauns, aren't we? That's right, we cobbled shoes. <laughs> but not if we've dropped our hammer. Did you drop your hammer? No. I did um, drop the ball though on sewing my side. It's coming out. Oh, well. Do, 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 you know do, do, what? Do, 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 do. I'm, I'm a leprechaun and I've never heard of a female leprechaun, have you? I have never. We enjoy the gay sex. Oh. oh, 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 oh. That was disgusting. Interracial relationships! I've, I've never been with a man whose skin was darker than me. What is it like down there? <laughs> <laughs> the curtains definitely do not match the grapes. Let's have a look down there. Oh, it's as black as sin. <laughs> Wait a minute, let's have a closer look. Let's have a closer look, my dear. <laughs> That was a successful trip, right? We, we didn't drop our hammer tonight, did we, Ella? No, we didn't! Well, tonight you saw us make two drinks. The Irish flag shot, which is fantastic if you learn how to pour the, the top part. It's actually called floating. And then you'll be able to make um, the, the alcohol sit on top of each other. It was good, I don't mind it. And then our green beer. Slancha! Slancha. And we also learned how to make a little leprechaun finger puppets. Yeah! I did the, the half-ass route because I ran out of thread and it's unstitching itself. Pretty good compared to last week. <laughs> and next week, where are we going? We're going to Cuba! Cuba! Woo! They're excited! So join us next week when we visit Cuba. And also, we want to remind you that we also have our own YouTube channel yeah. and website. So to visit Ella's YouTube channel, click... Up here. Up there somewhere. Casca yeah. Queen. That's a queen. All sorts of good stuff about his life. Mostly. It's, it's fairly decent. I was thinking, what's <laughs> interesting? Check it so out. Me. Ask a queen. Yeah. My channel. And then if you want to check out Sasha's channel, which she has a bunch of her art, click on this side. Random stuff. Yeah. We'll but also create a link to her page, or to her website down here, which has a lot of her art. Channelmuster.com. Yeah. So join us next week as we get into more Drunken Adventures on... Dragon Crafting Masters International! Woo!